uh, downwards and then I'll gel it upwards. The middle of your nose. Beard going this way. Like the, the, the comb over, like the dick of the cat, and then the other Actually, I'm going to tuck it, in, tuck it into my head, sir. There you go, I've got a side oh. curve. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> awesome. Look at that jawline, I can make a fake jawline that's just outlining. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Classic. Nice. But yeah, I'm just... Hi! Hello. Anxiety! Welcome. Well, about oh, yeah. the game, Luke, or life? Por que no les dos? What are you drinking, Sally? Ah, a small cup of coffee. I was oh my god. In. Ain't it? It's my, <laughs> it's my, my, my cute coffee cup. Hey, right. if you're going to hold a little teacup, what do you do with your pinky? It's not god, tea. Damn it. I don't care. When in doubt, the pinky out. In doubt, uh, indeed, indubitably. Pinky's always out, so with a small teacup. Indubitably, Jesus. This is fit. my house. <laughs> <laughs> fucking coffee, coffee drinkers, man. I know, right? They're fucking disgusting. I know, right? Imagine they drink, they drink little cups of coffee. Like, fucking fuck fucking drinks a little cup of coffee. Well, <laughs> I'll have you be- because I you eat, uh, take stimulants. <laughs> <laughs> Because I take stimulants every day, I cannot drink a lot of coffee. So this uh, is my. Well, uh... I've never drunk a cup of coffee in my life. Right? Could you imagine me, me drinking coffee? The anxiety. No, I, I imagine it every night, Joby. Well, you should, baby, because I imagine you every night. Oh. But, but why is oh. everyone so tribal about it? I mean, I just drink tea and fucking coffee. It's not that I don't. I I have a thing against <laughs> coffee. I just don't like it. It's for heathens. Mm. No, it's for Stephen, the mornings. It's, when it's you wake up. It's for the morning. <laughs> people it's, are trying to talk to you. People drink it's, like, tea. it's like, fuck you, do not talk to me until I have my coffee in the morning. Oh, oh see, funny enough, uh, Christina's like that, but she's more like, fuck you, don't talk to me. She doesn't do about the coffee thing. It is because I'm old. I needed to fuel my oh, you, is, is that a hairbrush? Uh, so Boss has to do the recap. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see Alwyn, so it's Alwyn uh, who has to do it. No, I heard Alwyn. He went like that. I didn't see Alwyn. I heard the, he heard the thumb thud. thud. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll do the fucking recap. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Got him. <laughs> it was a cold, wintry day. When you were evicted from the magnificent mansion, after some trials and tribulations, you saw a familiar face. It was Strahd. He had a little tete-a-tete, which you promptly forgot, because it wasn't important. Probably. Then, you set out to plan a heist to do something, which I still don't know, and as you, I have a little fly here, as you (laughs) were thinking and reminiscing about the good old days, you all dozed off. Now some of you dozed off, they saw a horrifying image shadows in the night coming in to for lack of a better term slice the fuck out of some throats and that's where we'll pick it up next week again next week (laughs) (laughs) it was a lovely session (laughs) yeah right it was a perfect moment to say next week sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends (laughs) <laughs> so, who was seeing this? I think it was... Sal- Seraphim. Seraphim, yeah. indeed. Seraphim, you see this, and as you're looking, you try to intervene, you try to cry out, yell, scream, do anything you can, but your mouth is shut, you cannot move. And as you see each and every throat slit in front of you, you see four pairs of bright red eyes turn to you. 
and as they come closer you try to move your body and it's if as if it's you're like in jello everything moves ever so slow it's not even water it's it's heavier than that and as you hold your hand up to the closest pair of red eyes you see something glimmering in the moonlight and as it strikes down in force you can tell that it's a blade you scream in agony and pain and open your eyes and you're awake it was a nightmare Um, I look around. Is everyone still alive? Everyone is still alive, doing their thing. It was actually a dream. Does this remind me... Uh, did I sense anything happening to me, like a lingering magic, or...? No. Not, you know. Who else was sleeping at this time? Uh, I was sleeping. Weren't you on watch? No, I was on second watch. Yeah, yeah, but I was sleeping, and I was first watch. No, I was no, first watch. You were in first watch. Huh? You went sleeping right away watch. with back. Yeah, oh, okay. You... I think me and you were on the second one. So. Yeah. Seraphim, oh, sorry. sorry. Yes, you are. Seraphim, right. you look around and you hear a scream next to you, and Bax sits up. Bax, you had the same type of dream. Feel your throat. Look around. Everybody is doing dandy. You lock eyes with Seraphim, and you both know instantly that you had the same dream. You had the same. Ah, uh, yes. That was terrifying. What do you think it means? Oh, actually, DM, you said a blade fell? Like, it was the, the people that were killing? That the you, you were trying to say the blade fell onto me and then I woke up, right? Yeah, it's like if you have a nightmare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the moment you die, you wake up, basically. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. Tell me, sir, um, have, have, have you ever lived on Elm Street? <laughs> no, no. I, I, I might have lived in another street with a tree's name, but I don't remember which one. It was on that... One Tree Hill Street. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a terrifying dream. That's, do you think perhaps we're in danger? A premonition of short? Of sorts. Well, I remember this happening when the hag was still alive. I, I rest assured she is. I checked my my backpack. Just look at her head. Pretty sure she's dead. Roll me a Constitution saving throw. Uh, Constitution <laughs> throw. Make me roll stuff. Uh, that one. 19. You check the head and it's rotting. Like one eye is almost falling out. The tongue is lolling. It's got this sickly green color. But you're pretty sure it's dead. And the constitution saving throw was for you to not be sickened. Yeah. Do you think perhaps we should destroy the head just to make sure? Well, we don't have much use for it anymore, I think. We don't have well, any questions to ask her. Well, it served its purpose. Perhaps we should burn it. The next chance we get. Yes. And Seraphim looks at Castle Ravenloft. It might be the proximity as well. I want things for sure. We best be careful. And 
Seraphim looks around. Do other people seem to be having bad dreams and like turning in their sleep or something? Who else is asleep at this moment? I am. Ricky. Amia. And Alwyn. Both of you wake up with a scream, having had a dream of everybody around you being killed in one way or another. And as last you. All of it's you look okay, at each other okay. and know instantly, sorry sir, Finn, that you all had the yeah. same dream. Um, Danny, it's, it's like it's a warning of some sort. Did he perchance eat something strange? <laughs> oh, I haven't. Oh, well, I ate not that long ago, but it's just a ration. No, I'm uh, recapping the tale of this party's adventures. Uh, but Mr. DM, mm -hmm. would Ricky know that they, uh, when the hags, when they uh, start like taking something, go, oh, is it when they attach to you? Is it they start giving you nightmares? Because didn't we have this with Morgantha? Max was having yeah, nightmares Starfield before. Had this. Yeah, uh, yes, but, sir, yeah. But every witch you have encountered has been long yeah. dead at this moment. Even Baba has been dead for. A while. Day. Day. At least, a at days. least, a, at least a, <laughs> at, a, a day. A day. At Go least on. a day. <laughs> at least a day. Could uh, Seraphim do kind of uh, some kind of check to like think about what this could be in like arcanic, whatever? Sure, but it will be a disadvantage because you have no idea what you think. Which direction? Nice. Okay. Can I also do a check to see if Bax would know of any creature that might do this? Well, yeah. Would I know oh, a witch is doing this? I threw away a net, netty 20. Yeah. <laughs> 11. Seraphim, you're thinking? But... Nothing really stands out that would... do this. But... You can in one way or another think back to when you had the last long rest in Barovia mm. what happened then that's when you couldn't sleep Seraphin because Morgantha was messing with you in your sleep. Oh no, you had long rests. After oh, he that. slept since then. The last long rest we had was in the was in the mansion. Mhm. Mm and before that? Before that we cave. were. No, we didn't have a long rest there. Before that, we were in the swamp with Baba. No, no we there. went to the werewolves as well. No, we didn't have a long rest in the werewolves. No. Blinksies? But, no, Blinksies was well before that. Wait, Kresk? Like, we went from Kresk and then to... east. I was going to say, yeah, we've been coming from Kresk, so... No, we went, we went to the Werewolf Cave. Stopped. Yeah, but we went to the Werewolf Cave, which we didn't have a long rest. Then we went yeah, to, to before, the mansion. No, go backwards. But, yeah, so before the mansion was the Werewolf. Wolf. What was before, before the, the Werewolf, werewolf cave? It was Babalagiska. No, no, we, no Babalagiska was all the way down to Kresk. But no, did we Crest. sleep? Crest was there. after the werewolf crate. No, that's no. no. Crest was Crest first because it. we went to we went the... from Crest to oh, the right, werewolf it's not, cave. It's not Crest. Bring up the hand draw map. Yeah, Crest isn't the little place up on the top right, is it? That's why somebody oh, yeah. that my head is Crest. Did we stop in the forest? <laughs> no, we went to we were at the um at the resurrection at the with the abbot. He was raising yeah. that boy. But did we sleep there? That's what I'm asking. Oh, Crest. Who knows? I can't remember. That was months ago. Hmm. You know, it was two days ago. <laughs> Let's see. Something happened between last long rest in Barovia and this long rest. It wasn't our last long rest in the in the tower in the 
mansion. In the mansion. Yeah. Yeah. You That's why that I room. Uh, say the long. So somewhere long between. Rest in Barovia. So. Oh, in Barovia. Are, right, you, sorry. are you saying that this mansion is on a different no. plane of existence when yeah, you go that's inside? What I'm yeah, that's what We knew ends. that anyway. We knew that anyway. Yeah. We knew it was in the. We knew it was his special place. This is a little like, pocket dimension. Yeah, but that's the only thing that's in a different plane because we're in a semi-plane of dread, aren't we? In Barovia, nothing yeah. leaves this plane. Yes, but How is that... that on the other side of the plane? Because that makes he sense. His own... he, he creates his own plane. Yeah, it's a pocket plane, but I, I'm, it's, it's, I'm just, wondering it's just like what... the bag of holding. It's no different than the bag. Yeah, of... yeah, yeah. But what is Subas saying with this? Like he's is saying, that our, he's asked, he's saying our last long rest in Barovia. So not our long rest in the in the mansion. Yeah. But the rest before that, the long rest we had. It, it was um, either at or right before Kresk. It was at Kresk, I thought. I don't but... think we stopped and slept. At oh, because we stayed he... there long enough for me to get wings. Yeah, didn't we sleep at the? Uh, the mayor's house or something? The Burgermeister's, I think. No, I don't remember sleeping there. Like with the, the kid that they resurrected as well? I, I think we got there at night time, but I honestly don't remember sleeping there. I know we had that whole thing at, at the Abbot. When he ever... Uh, uh, so, uh, oh, suck it, got his wings. Or did we go to the werewolf cave and sleep right before getting into it? So we started oh. fresh. No, because I was already a bit empty. You were, there. you were, you were like, oh, I don't think this is a good idea going in here when we're not fully rested, and we were like, nah, it'll be fine. But then we must have rested after the cave because I had spell slots. No, we slept in the house. What the fuck? We have slept because we're also concerned with time at no, the moment, aren't we? We slept. We slept we haven't got because much time. we slept at. We slept at the mansion, but that doesn't count as being in Barovia. What did we do before Kresk? Did we come from right. the from the swamps? No, but we no, also no, no, the beacon. We did the beacon. The Rish, no, we did. You're still having oh, first no. watch together with Zuck. Both of you, give me a perception check. Mm -hmm. uh... So confused. Yeah, see, I'm pretty good with memory, but I'm telling you, I cannot remember. It's when you want. No, we went to the the winery. For yeah, that's before. also a one that after I the assume. after the swamp, right? Yeah. After the swamp. Yeah. We must have had a long rest after that because we expended a lot of crap in that fight. Mm. So you were very preoccupied with the conversation happening behind you. <laughs> but Trish, you look around and. The night seems uneventful for you. Hmm. Nothing Nothing really happens. Happens. Suspicious. I imagine you all continue talking about this. At what point do you think you will change watches? How how long into the into the rest are we? Are we at a stage that we can now actually still switch over and still get our long rest? Uh, you're still in the first hour ish. Uh, we, are you okay? Long rest is eight hours, so you have like seven hours, so three hours to get back to sleep, change the watch. Are you okay to continue the watch if we go back to sleep? I'm, yeah. I'm kind of desperate for this. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'm here. I'm just gonna but... roll over and sleep. Yeah, I, I lie back down. Go back to sleep. While clutching my sword. Alright, first watch. Give me another perception check. 11. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Only Joe. Oh my god! Only Joe. As you're nice. looking around, you keep half an eye on the people behind you, especially Zuck, because he's feeling a bit nervous. Ricky, as you're tossing and turning, feeling a bit uneasy. You 
suddenly feel a tap on your shoulder. You open your eyes and you look and you see your son, Erasmus, saying, Papa, Papa, at last I found you. Papa, please, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. And as you look, you see his fangs lengthen and he lashes on through your throat and you wake up with a scream. Would you like a sanity check for that? Oh, sure. Because that that would disturb the shit out of Ricky. Well, sure. for D&D &D rules, you fill your sanity check. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> um, Rudy, with this, I, I will say that you are too disturbed to go back to sleep the, the rest of the night. Because so I do not get no, a long rest. No, no. you don't get a long rest. And in fact, <clears throat> everybody else who's sleeping, you will wake up with a start after an hour of a restless sleep. Erfim will uh, take 10 minutes to uh, cast a uh, Detect Magic. Alright, read the spell description for me. Uh... Ooh, I've got an idea if, you, if this... Yeah. For the duration, you sense the presence of magic within 30 feet of you. If you sense magic this way, you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object in the area that bears magic, and you learn its school of magic, if any. Oh, I never knew it took an action to actually check and identify it. The DM will remember this. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, nothing really magical that you haven't already seen stands out to you. Um, Mr. DM? Um, Mr. Owen? Is this an effect that causes one to be frightened? Well, uh, not particularly, no. Oh, bugger. Otherwise, I could have used stillness of, stillness of mind. What does stillness and of mind And now you don't do? have to. <laughs> What does stillness but he of has mind a feature do? and he will damn well use it. Yeah, but what does stillness of mind do? <laughs> I uh, just said it in the chat. All right, Thank seven you. Level, you can it ends an effect on him. No. Yeah. Dreams are scary, Dana. We know. Hold on. Let's, let's find out if there is magic first. Did you say there was magic from your detect magic? No. no not, not anything that stands out. Nothing that stands out that you haven't already seen. I don't like that extra sentence at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I do imagine that if Strahd expects us to fight tomorrow, or the day after, that he would deny us sleep, it would be to his great advantage. Or well, something's causing us to, to have restlessness. Only I had somebody who could speak to Strahd. But what we want Strahd to know that we're in... That we're but having difficulties? The rings of mind shielding. Whoever's wearing those shouldn't be able to feel the effects of another foe through mind. So it can't be that. I think... I think well, I think you gave one to me and I'm on first watch. <clears throat> Um, well, Sebas, if you're talking about the spell sending, I need to sleep before I can use that. <laughs> it could be you. But would we want Strahd to know that, that something is going on? Should any know already? Well, giving him more information is, is a bad idea. Maybe if you say his name three times, he'll appear. <laughs> Ooh, I did it. Strahd, Strahd, Strahd. Good evening. No. <laughs> 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 
Both, how far are we from Castle Ravenloft? Um, about twice the distance as the crow flies. No idea. I don't. I don't think it has anything oh, yeah. to do with Castle Ravenloft. I slept there and I didn't suffer. From oh, that was my next question. Yeah, you slept I there. I didn't. Yeah, I you slept, slept sound. No, this this is something. This is something new. I it's... cannot recall what's happened to us recently. What well, is? Would this be a remnant of the? Mansion, maybe. Uh, it's that's before the, the only thing that's that's the only thing that stands out as a possibility. Uh, we met the wizard on the road before the cave. Before the cave, we were at Kresk, witnessing the abbot perform that ritual to raise the boy. What was the price he had to pay for raising him? Wasn't there? A didn't he say there was a price? But we never actually saw it. A what? million dollars! <laughs> <laughs> the abbot was saying that there was a price to pay to, to resurrect the boy. Oh, thanks, our sanity. Well, probably a soul or something. Well, it did, but that's the point. We didn't know what it was at the time. No, before but... That, we're at, before that, we're at the wine of the wizards. The wizards mm -hmm. of the wine. Also, don't forget that when we saved the deer from the dire wolves, the wizard did something to us before he vanished. But then we didn't have a long. Yeah, that wizard was the guy at the mansion, mm -hmm. yeah, and I he know, didn't. But... We didn't. Sit, did we didn't have a long rest then. He froze us. No, no, no. He froze us, and the footsteps went to each and every one of us, and then vanished. I think after they were in front of Seraphim or something. Ah. We did have a long rest in the mansion. Yes, but the the voice in the sky said the last long rest in Barovia, stating oh, that it Barovia? wasn't. <laughs> Maybe he means actually in Barovia. Weren't we just there? Ooh, ooh, Mr. No. DM. Yes. Can Ricky pull out his uh, iPad, <laughs> connects to 4G, is, is and he loads way? up. Uh, he loads up a Zero is. Dead uh, <laughs> podcast, <laughs> and he goes and has a look at the recap of where we last thinged. <laughs> Just tell him you're reading your journal. <laughs> Wait, where's that? Where's that book? The Chronicles. Can oh, we just? Yeah. Can't you just oh. flick? Can suck it? Just flick back through there and have a look. <laughs> right. We can just flip through the pages of the so, book. You can flip for it because you can read anything. Oh yeah. Then you and then it's... we can recall what might be affecting us. Quick, where's the book? <laughs> I say that. Thinking that I actually have it in my position. I say I thought Seraphim had it. Oh, I'll give it like... to you in that case. Um, is it the uh, Grimoire or something? Isn't it? Where some someone has it? Like it doesn't matter. We'll probably be in the bag of holding somewhere. Yeah. Oh, Bax, could you give me that uh, icon thing? I forgot about that last session. I was just looking at that. God damn it, <laughs> yes. I was just thinking, oh, I want that. Uh, yeah, you can have it. But if, uh, uh, whoever has the book, give it to Sucket so he can have a look. So what are you doing at this moment? Flipping back to our, our it's in, last it's in the sheet. Rubia. Luke, it's in the price sheet, mate. Thank you. Oh, cool. You are looking back, flipping through the pages. And as you are reading this, you kind of get the idea that your long, your last long rest was indeed in Kresk. As you're reading this, it actually says they all went to sleep. But nothing stands out about that moment. I, th yeah, I think it's not. Oh, yeah, go ahead. It's it's not at the long rest that something happened, right? It's like somewhere in between the last long rests and now. 
So that would almost have to be the mansion, I think. Because the only thing in between now and the Lost Long Rest is the mansion and the werewolf cave. Maybe. And I don't think anything magical happened there. Maybe it's one of the items we took from the mansion. What did we no. take from the mansion? Well, we took a lot of items from the mansion. Which mansion yeah. are you referring to? The the one with the wizard? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But we didn't have the rest. We had that after that. The mansion was after the rest. The mansion has nothing to do with what's happening to us. But we were told to think back. No, to yeah. Left, but but it's, it could be, though, because it's it's something that happens in between the Lost Long Rest. And, and when we came out, nothing changed on the outside. So it was like time stood still while we were in there. Or the book tells you just that. Like not the, just like the big temple. Time stood still while we were in there. Or the book doesn't tell you what happened in your dream. Something yeah. happened to us, but the book isn't saying. Just just to confirm something. If I if we would be under the influence of a spell, I would see it with Detect Magic, right? Yep. Okay, so it's not the dream spell, which would be make a lot of sense here. <laughs> what about a curse? He not just control F the book and just type in the word curse and see what comes up. <laughs> Ricky pulls out his iPad again. Like, I don't think it has anything to do with the mansion. I think it's something before that that we've missed. Zuckard done us. Zuckard like bends uh, bends over into the book and he goes like, "Berry, look for curse." <laughs> <laughs> look, Zuckard, look further back from that night at Kresk. See what. Actually, uh, recap everything that happened from when we arrived to when we went uh, and and rested. See if anything jumps out at you. Bucket is flipping. He flips back to the last space, and you see. The Zucket is flipping through the pages as everybody's staring over his shoulder to see what he sees. It just goes on and on and on and on and on. He flips back. And. Zuck, where do you actually want to look for this? I want to look back towards when the child was resurrected. All right, oh, yeah. he recants the story about the child being resurrected. Roll me a d4. That's a tree. Mm -hmm. As you're reading, like you're flipping back and forth through the pages, and it's a lot of information because a lot of things have happened. And as you're like checking the book, the weird thing is the book started like this, but as you are reading it slowly, you can feel it growing larger and larger and larger. Like more pages are just being added. We like magically to so continue the story it takes about three hours to find the exact part that you're looking for and then read through and as you're reading it doesn't say anything about something that would make you not sleep or a price to pay that you would have to pay nothing really stands out about this moment is there anything there that we didn't see at the time but is still recorded in the book with the new pages popping up me, uh, like, do, do I mean, see any events that were added extra in? Like, um, notes in the margin? Yeah. Basically? Yeah. You're looking and you see a footnote hmm. about Strahd looking down at the party from the top of the hill 
but nothing truly eventful. Just looking from the ethereal plane on his flaming nightmare horse. Other than a secret viewing from Strahd, there's nothing in the book. No, not really. The only thing that you notice is the longer you look at this page, the more annotations, like the more side notes are being written. Like Mrs. Uh, Hire went out to buy a bread, but the bakery didn't have any bread. Like it's the longer you stay the page, the more side notes and margin notes are being written. But they're all really uneventful stuff. It's almost as the longer you look at one certain page at one certain moment in time, the more the book tries to fill it. And you get a bit of a vertigo feeling as you're reading this because each sentence you read brings up three more sentences in the side notes and it doesn't take long till the side notes being scribbled over with more information like um the people in the abbot the abbey were hungry and then someone get food and the other ones fought for it like it's it's like the more time you spend at a single moment in time the more information that single moment in time gets on the page does that make sense to you Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I see that it's leading in a direction, like maybe from the morning to the night? Well, if you flip through, um, you see that the moment the boy was resurrected, and if you flip through, it's like chronological. But the more time you spend on one page, like you can imagine this moment right now, the stuff that happens in the town I'm in, like in in the in the okay. uh, uh, the building I'm in, and then okay. the building next to it, and next to it. like the more time you spend on one particular moment, the more information the book will write on that same page. Okay, I go back to the page. I go back to where it says that that we all went to sleep. All right. And I just watch that page to see if anything happens after that. The first moment you went to sleep, you see in this book that it describes in detail the dreams of each and every one of you. And even how you, Zucket, were supposed to be on watch, but were just looking at your feet and wondering why your toenails didn't grow after death. Because you distinctly heard that toenails on the hair remain growing after death. That's why you rolled a zero on your perception check and <laughs> as you're looking it describes the dreams and keeps describing in the meantime as you're looking Zuck I imagine that some of you will try to switch watch even though you didn't get any sleep for the last four hours yeah, uh, Trish, do you want to try and get some sleep? It's not working for me. Yeah, I'm... Oof, I'm tired. Thanks, Max. Just know that we've all had very bad dreams, so the same might happen to you. Oh, well, I'm still gonna try and catch, catch some sleep. I'll take a position where Trish was and just keep staring out at the darkness. Yeah, I'll join Bax. Trish, you settle in. Maybe even a bit nervously because 
you heard what the other people were saying. And as you drift off, you remember a time that you were in Valaki. You set fire to a house. And as you look back on this rather fond memory, you see that the ashes, the glowing particles of ash rain down around you. And as you think nothing of it. But then you see that little fires are starting around you. And as you think like, ooh, this is getting a bit hairy. You try to move and you see that your feet are stuck in a thick mud. You try to move one up, but the other one just sinks in deeper. As the fire comes closer and closer, and the more you struggle, the more you sink into the ground. And as the fire reaches you, your the earth is setting up towards your lips. As you sink deeper and deeper, and as the fire rolls over you, you wake up with a scream. Azakat, you read that the curse is doing its work. I close the book. And I jump up and I say, it's a curse! I fucking told you! Ah, uh, shit. From who? Well, well the, the curse over this land, a curse on us. Where does it come from, Zucket? What does it say? I don't know. I closed the book. I got excited. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Didn't it take you hours exactly to find it? it? Yeah. But I got excited. <sighs> well, Therapy, can, can you not break curses? Uh, yes, but... It's oh, very, well. very costly. No, no, no. Sure. The thing is, I literally have one second level spell slot and one sorcery point. I could switch that around into one third level spell slot, but that's literally everything I have. I could do spell a greater restoration at level five on myself, have a long rest, then do that two more times, have another long rest, then do that two more times. <laughs> <laughs> but surely, Seraphim, it might be worth you taking the curse off yourself than sleeping. Yes. And then having us do it. Sure, you would be waiting around for us for a few hours, but it might be beneficial. No, but you, don't you need a, a greater restoration, which is a level 5 spell? No, I can remove no, yeah. curse on myself right now. And then sleep, and then cast it on the rest of us. By also, using sorcery if, points to twin it. If we want to send him into the castle with Trish, at least those two need to get a good sleep. But he also needs all the spell points he gets, he can have. So we can't really ask him to remove the curse on all of us as they are planning their thing. The heist is important, but also is us not dying because we can't defend ourselves because we're too weak to. Yeah. I'm... Like, I, can... I, I don't desperately need, need that sleep. I'm so feeling mostly okay if a bit tired. Like, I think it's more important that, that Ruki and, and Seraphim get their... I was going to say, I can't do any area later. effects at the moment, yeah. Agreed. Aren't you, can't you twin spell it, Seraphim? Uh, no. I would need one more source... Well, uh, no. I would need one more sorcery point. Can't you not just take one of my sorcery points? <laughs> <laughs> I have some that if I never use. Hands. <laughs> And close your eyes and, and just wish really hard. Um, oh, remove curses a level three spell. Yeah. And uh, clerics can use it. Well, I'll be preparing that during my rest. <laughs> <laughs> so, DM, I, I find it hard to think about 
curses, like in what way they work in this universe, or like in the D and D universe, I mean, like is it considered magic or like supernatural, basically? Hmm. If we knew who it cast it, perhaps we could find them and stop their concentration. I bet it's that wizard. Also, do curses need concentration? I'd imagine no, they probably it's... do. Surely. I don't, think so. I don't think so. Really? That seems no. a bit OP, as the kids say. No, I'm looking at the bestow curse spell. And, um... and that doesn't require concentration. Well, the thing is. Um... Well, in this situation, it does. But there's also another one. Uh, a higher level spell that just it makes you sick basically for the the rest of your life if you fail pre saving throws or something like there's different ways of cursing people. Okay, sir. Here's uh, how it's going. I'm gonna do it Joy Patui style. So, what happens <laughs> is if me and you we we cure ourselves and then we have a long rest. Then between the pair of us, we won't have to expend so many spell slots and we just remove curse everyone. Jobs are good and we move on. Everyone gets a long rest. Mm, yeah, I think either way we have to uncurse ourselves. Can, can uh, just... Does greater restoration actually? Oh yeah, one curse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, if you got uh, if the guys in Dutch have the saying, uh, "God, uh, men make plans and God smiles." No. You've never heard of that expression. No. Yeah. You, you get what it means, though, yeah? You get yeah. it? Yeah. When you were saying about that, did anyone notice Sebastian's face smiling? <laughs> like, yeah. this isn't going to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like the plans we're making. He's laughing. Well, the thing was, I, I was keeping my options open as I could also do a locate object on, for example, Strahd's armor to see if he's around here. But I, I, I don't think it's Strahd that's doing it to us. No, I think it is why, that wizard. Why waste resources on something that... It, ultimately, it's it's irrelevant who's casting it on us. If it well, I've got, I've got magic thinking to get a solution out of this. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, Mr. I Man have... in the Sky, is there any way that I can make you appear in the world? <laughs> <laughs> Try to like using you. augury or something, like, like. You have a well, ah, augury, could... right? No, I have augury you... on my I kind of raven kind. So, right. can I, is... can I get, can I get you in like, the avatar of Jerry Springer inside the world? You can certainly try. I am well, definitely okay, bringing up the spell to read it Cause... before Luke does anything. <laughs> <Indeed>. <laughs> yeah, but you're gonna give me the noise, but. But it's what I'm gonna do in conjunction that's gonna make you smile. Oh. If I can get you in the world, say that you appear as an avatar and then you do this weird noise thing that Augury does. Alright. Show yeah. me Augury in the chat. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. If you idea. appear in the world, can I do a zone of truth on you? I'm not going to appear in the world. Oh, because that's oh. not what Argu does. <laughs> Read the spell, Luke. I know, yeah, but you'd make the noise. Just how do I hear? Do I just hear the noise? You'd be in the world, man. Physics. You receive an omen from an otherworldly entity about the results of specific. You just only you receive an omen. No. No. Well, I have one more idea that's rather free. Um, Zucket, if could you pull up the position in that book where time froze on us when Morden Kanan walked away? Maybe the book knows what happened. But it took him three hours to find the la last time. Mm-hmm. I don't think we have that kind of time. 
It might take a while of searching. Oh, it took that long? I did. Yeah. Yes, it did. I, if only Sakit hadn't have closed the book when he had found it. Sorry, I was excited. Curse him and his <laughs> reading skills. Hmm. <laughs> I think our best bet is to, to try something. Because uh, the the night is dwindling and we need a rest. Hold on. Just, just, just rule it out. Mr. Man in the Sky. Is this forest that we're in known as something? <laughs> it is very much forest known as the Swanage <laughs> Roots. No, so it's not known as like the forest of internal well, nightmares or something like it, that. <laughs> it translates <laughs> into... It might be now. <laughs> it, it's filled with elm trees, Luke. That's all you need to know. Right. Yeah. Um, seeing as none of you are going to get a long rest... Just gonna tell you now, everyone gets a level of exhaustion. Yay! Oh. Well, can I at least get a short rest? I'm sitting Wait, on the side a... of my bed. So can I have a short Hang rest? On. No, you're trying to have well, a we... long rest and nothing happened. So now but... you do not get a short rest to. But if we're if we're trying to if we're trying to come up with a way to continue our long rest, we wouldn't ex gain exhaustion yet, would we? I'm just gonna tell you now, there's no way you're gonna get rest tonight. Because Ugh. all of you have been awake for longer than five hours. Holy hell. Well, Dana's <laughs> gonna die then, because Dana's already on three levels of exhaustion. This would make four. Yeah. Oof, this will kill is Dana. <laughs> Isn't it four levels in death, right? Five. No. Five. Oh, well, Dana's clinging on to life. But one more non-sleep and it's over indeed. Or one more one KO. One more is uh, HP max halved and one more is death. No, no. Exhaustion 4 is already HP max halved. I know. That's what he's saying. But That's where you're at now. Five is HP max again halved. Oh, fucking hell. And Can we not fix zero. this? Um... Maybe someone should call out to Strad. Why? Honestly, the chat says it's all done by Lucy. I say we kill the dog. <laughs> you, you, touch, you touch that dog and I'll end you. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yes, that's good. Do you know, do you know I've been thinking about this. I can I can I just revisit how how I ended up not killing Lucy. I had a thought, and I should have done it when we did it. But I rode that nat one right, which yeah. told me I didn't want to kill it. What the, what was going through Bax's mind is he raised his sword to, to take the, the killing blow. Was it they locked eyes and something inside him moved and reminded him of his pet dog as a child, and that's why he couldn't bring himself to kill Lucy. So he is very protective over Lucy. Please don't try and kill her. All right. Um. Yeah. The only thing I don't get is like I get why we're exhausted because we haven't had we haven't slept mm -hmm. yet since like 24 hours basically mm -hmm. um the, the one thing i want to know is if if i try to remove curse and remove any effect effect that's currently on me i could just try to go sleep again right you certainly could try yeah I already mentioned but that, so he said no one's getting a long rest. The point is, you get one uh, long rest every 24 hours, and you just tried it. Didn't work. Yeah, but we didn't get it. No, you can try to get a long rest every 24 hours. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, objection. But, but you can no. try again, sure. But, no, but that, <laughs> Sebastian, that's a bit harsh, because if we would... I know. If, if, no, no. Listen, if we would be, <laughs> I know, <laughs> if we would be attacked, just like by a fucking goblin of five HP, yeah. Bax gets up, smacks him in the face, the thing goes in two, and then we're not allowed to sleep anymore because we woke up. Well, like, we that would be weird. Too. That's a different story because that's one goblin. I'm telling you, every time you try to sleep this night, you get a nightmare. Regardless of whatever we do, right. So what he's saying though is that 
you guys keep trying to go to sleep, waking up with nightmares, go to sleep, wake up with nightmares, you're going to be exhausted by morning. Yeah. yeah. He was also saying it doesn't matter what you try, it's going to happen. But Removing the curse. So what I'm, yeah, so what I'm hearing is it's not a curse, it's something else. Oh, it is oh. a curse, but... Uh, oh, shit. Sorry. Um... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm thoroughly confused right now. Like, uh, but, I say, I say we move to like okay, safer okay. grounds where we can rest somewhere else. Are maybe you simply just saying this location that we can't rest? Are you simply saying that we've already had the opportunity to take the long rest before exhaustion kicked in has already come and gone? Yeah. And thus we have now exhausted. So even if you do manage to get a long rest, we are still exhausted from uh, mechanically speaking the opportunity to get it before exhaustion kicked in has gone yeah the opportunity think of it to get think of it that rest, way so yeah, indeed yeah. you can try to take a long rest i don't remember if you have your cart with you um you could we do yeah you could use the cart and and, and uh you could try remove course and try another long sleep uh, but there's no way all of you are going to get a long rest because None of you, except for one or two, have had Remove Curse. Okay. Oh, I thought Ooh. that was out of the window as well. That's no, what no, I no, 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 no. But I'm, I'm not. I'm just saying, not all of you are gonna get another chance of a long rest. Oh, okay. okay. Can I, can I propose? So you're a plan? already exhausted now, but you could still. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. I thought we were simply prohibited to try another long rest for the next twenty. No, no, no. no. <laughs> he was just simply saying that we've all got. Exhaustion I get it. Now, I get moment. it. Yeah, no, I, no, I no. no I, I was, I was, I was not clear on this. Um, but just imagine if you haven't slept a whole night and you had yeah, a yeah, whole yeah, yeah. day before, you're gonna be able to rest again. But seeing as you're wrecked with nightmares, you're not gonna be able to sleep. But if you have had to remove curse, you might be able to sleep. Yeah, depending yeah. Depending okay. on the events that happen as the party moves. But can, can I suggest a plan of action then? You can certainly Maybe uh, we should just literally, at this point, we're all exhausted and grumpy and quite angry. We just go and rob a bar of all its wine, go and uh, swap that for that potion that gets you the fuck out of Barovia, and we can just skip yes. all this matter and like nothing happened. <laughs> we can even go get that barrel that Surfing and, and, and I dumped into the lake near uh, Kalaki. Well, we al I also have at least like five liters or something. Also, of... that, I, <laughs> I don't leader? remember. Uh, I said this I is a joke, but uh, you're all running with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, that, that has basically been like Trisha's goal the entire fucking time so as soon as that thought gets uttered i'm like yes let's go <laughs> let's do this but so, i also don't remember what the exact pricing was because i don't think it was like one bottle per potion i think it was like almost a barrel no it's a, it's a barrel per potion so, that's what i'm saying we yeah. go and rob the barrels of a bar we don't really we have, have shed loads of anymore. we have shed loads of booze on us yes we swiped we loads for the mansion, mansion. Like it's we become the payday crew to... and just go and rob shit. Let's but... just fuck Strahd. No, be rich and we'll build our own tower. It'll be great. You'll have hookers and blackjack, but you know, it's just hookers and blackjack. <laughs> is, that, is that it? Is it? <laughs> My needs like, are simple. Wasn't, wasn't one of the whole subplots that there was no more booze in Valaki? Yeah, yeah. Because that's why you needed to transport the booze from the winery. That's why that was so important. At the three Rest, gems, yeah. have we even Rest. got one of them yet? Well, no, we no. might have one. the one Babalagisa. Yes. Which we gave back to the people at the winery? No. Well, I they still... can grow wine at a faster rate. We just we just hunker uh, down. I get don't some understand. <laughs> I, I've I've obviously hit my head or something, because I don't understand. Why are we on wine? Why is that all of a sudden become a thing? Because we're trying to get the fuck out of it. Yeah. How are we going to get out of Brovia with just we, wine? We were told that we could yeah. buy the potions to allow us to walk through the fog. We also have some potions, but they're just counterfeit. The ones we How have we? are counterfeit, yeah. Who's to say that any more of the Vistaniad? Who's to say that any other bottles we get aren't going to be counterfeit? Because who's it was to say many of people true? who were offering. But who's to say that they're even legit? No one, but... Okay. 
there's but there's a good chance that they are because the Stani are the ones who can go in and out of this place. Yeah. Because Strahd allows they, them to, to come in and out of this place. This might you be how he allows them. I don't think he'd let us be here. Yeah, I don't think we'd be getting out of here. Oh, I don't okay. Know. We shall we get back oh, on top? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, Max. Do you, do you have a a better plan or another plan even? Yes, continue with what the plan was in the first place. Uh, yes, the village that's, of that's that's going to be a no go if Seraphim can cost can't cost him spells. Well, we can. He can still try and remove his own curse and get back his sleep now. But, but Nothing has changed still... in my mind. He'd still need to get a long rest. It's already like, is it like what time is it? Is it starting to get towards sunrise or uh, some? Well, is it still sun, middle of the night. Sunrise is a big word, but <laughs> <laughs> daybreak. It's day, daybreak. Maybe daybreak. we should just. But yeah, I don't understand. Nice. But it doesn't matter because you both can still get a rest. No, but we won't get a rest. I feel like this they area is cursed, and we should just no. get the fuck out no, of no, here no, no, and get no. to Barovia and then it. rest. So Suck it. was very clear about it this time. Seraphim and Trish, or at least Seraphim himself, couldn't get a rest. While we continue traveling, he could sleep in the car. Thus, he'll be assuming, ready to do the heist. Assuming nothing happens along the way, which something inevitably will. Yeah. Uh, well, of course, <laughs> but we can't control that. But that's still the best course of action. He can get as much trying, sleep as possible, though. Well, trying to there's... run away from this, trying to run away from, and and, and leave is it's pointless. What what have we been doing with our lives? Like I feel like the last three years of our life would be wasted. There's there's one thing that we have, like. The thing is, we don't need a lot of time today. Like we want to visit Barovia to talk to some people. We want to visit the Vistani and Trish. And uh, Seraphim want to go to Castle Ravenloft. None of those things will take like a full twenty-four hours. Maybe, maybe we can visit the Vistani. Maybe they have something that will cure us of our uh, curse, and we be in like a relatively safe environment where we could get a long rest. That detective is the right answer. Well, the, the the Vistani are one of the few that won't be attacked by any of yeah. Strahd's henchmen. Like, but even Barovia would suck in that huh? perspective. And and the the fact that it's now daytime means we have... Well, vampires tend to sleep at not a daytime, right? It's less dangerous yeah. during the day, yeah. Yeah, so this is this is a good course of action. Famous last yep. week. We just have to be careful getting... <laughs> we just have to be careful say, getting... It's, it's a good time to mention that Rudolf von Richten is not very liked by the Vistani. But there, but Rudolf can change his appearance. You can disguise, or, uh, or you can disguise <laughs> yourself. <coughs> yeah, but if one removes my ha hat, I'm a dead man. I'll let nobody touch you. I won't let anyone touch you either. A hook's part of, of the ship, part of the crew. <laughs> a hook, a hook. But yeah, he does like the, the thing. <laughs> <laughs> It goes like click. <laughs> but th this this is a good idea. We perhaps the Vastani are the best people to go to for this. We could ask it's Madame Eva if if she can remove a curse for us, and otherwise, yeah. uh, Seraphim and Ricky can do it on themselves. But it would be even better if she can rid all of us of it. Right. I'd also like to know who this Madame Eva actually truly is. So, Mister DM, can I uh, invoke fast travel? We're level 10 now. We've got our fast travel by now. Travel montage. There actually is a spell for fast <laughs> travel, and it's like hey. one, one fucking... Uh, can we level up? Because I can get fast travel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called, even? Oh, Sick it's... exhausted is getting to him. <laughs> no, it's not a level... It's a level 6 travel. spell. You two yeah, We're going to have to drag you out of here. Something yeah. recall, I can leave an item somewhere and I can recall where it is and we appear oh, there and I can take yeah. like four or five people with me. Yeah. Really? That's, that's awesome. Cool. That's a, a cleric spell where you, yeah. you go to like a sanctuary you already know and you've placed an item and you can do it at, at any time but only to that place. Wait, 
is it two-way travel? Do you go there? And then no, it's... no, no. It's one-way travel, but it's like it, poof, you're there. How many it's places? Basically... How many things can you fit down? No, it it needs to be like a temple to his god, basically, which it sucks here oh. because. Well, left and also he's not going to. I'm an atheist. I believe in Joe Pesci. We're not leveling up, so. It's <laughs> <laughs> I thought we'd already decided that we were. I, I think, well, that was canon. Right, yeah. so we go fast travel. Oh. I, I remember it. Don't the rest of you all remember he suggested it? <laughs> right, who votes for leveling up? <laughs> I. <laughs> Hang on, Arwen, who said he won? I thought this won? was a democracy. <laughs> <laughs> it is, while I allow it. Duh. So, DM, how far. Like, how long t traveling is it to Madame Eva, you imagine, from here? I about imagine car. about half a day, half a morning, about four hours. We set off now, we can get that. Uh, four hours, barring any um, Shenan. shenanigans along the way. What else have we got to lose? Like, seriously, we can't stay here. Uh, it's not doing anything. Let's just go for it. Let's just go. Okay. Yeah. Let's move. Because the DM is rolling uh, off a table. I don't want to see what? what's coming out of it. <laughs> and we're, we're walking. We'll pick we'll the weakest. <laughs> we'll pick the weakest and tiredest people on the cart. In the cart for for safety. Yeah, the one can have out. like a short but short rest at least. Who's taking I the it's... large ballista on top? <laughs> <laughs> Heads on a servo. <laughs> Lucy, I, I, I think we gave <laughs> Lucy. <real. laughs> I think we gave. Um, I think we gave the ballista one to uh, the other people. The, yeah, uh, the resistant. Yeah, We've just got a normal cart. We we negotiated one of their carts, didn't we? Yeah. In place of it. Yeah. Didn't work out. I mean. Uh, I mean, the one in Skyrim fits six people, so <laughs> I feel like we could all just get in and then get Lucy and Gary to pull it. Right. Mush! Yeah. Just hey, imagine of... if this was Skyrim and instead of a nightmare, <laughs> you just get you're finally, you're finally awake. You're finally awake. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it burns That's to me. It burns for you. me. It burns to me. And then you have oh. to choose your face before you get behind it. It's so weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this man, he just stood there for hours, changing and morphing in front of me. No wonder seen, we beheaded him. I've, I have seen some shit. <laughs> 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 this is the best meme ever. Anyway, um, it's a rough go for the first mm -hmm. two hours. There's no beaten path and your car gets stuck a few times. You know you're losing some uh, time, but the strongest of you try to heave the card out. And with two horses, it's relatively easy going. You take the card along the shores of Lake Zadovich, reminiscing about the lakes you have seen outside of Barovia that were fun. But this is a dark and bleak landscape. There's no pretty ladies swimming in this lake. It's just death and fog. It takes about three hours total and you arrive at the old Swalich Road. In the distance, you see the gates that lead to Castle Ravenloft. In front of it is a black cart. Oh no. The horses are positioned towards Castle Ravenloft. The door is open. And as you're getting closer, you see a tiny man sitting in the driver's seat, holding the reins. He looks at you with a crooked eye and yells out, 
Yes, 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 boys, you can just press in and that will take you to, to catch the wave for us. What do you do? No thanks! I pretend I didn't hear him or see him. No, I, just carry on. You didn't sleep either, did you, Rodin? Rodin hasn't been seen for a few days. I, I was going to say, Rodin's taking a long nap. Sir, from I remember this little man. We are all exhausted, that's the well, reason he mistook. Strahd said that he revived Rahadin using the abbot's powers. Just yes. like Zuck. But I, can just in the, I have been waiting here for you. For a few days. Well, wait longer. We've just got a side mission to do. But Bye! Under, who, <laughs> under, who's, under whose orders? Yes. <laughs> the big man. He said that at some point you would come see it and I would take you to Castle Christmas Yard. We still have but one more day before we have to do this. Yes. I don't very much. I don't know. Yes, Is there a mission please. marker floating above his head? It's <laughs> like an exclamation <laughs> <day>. we, we, <laughs> we, we will We will see you in. We will see you on the next day. <laughs> Alright, as, as, as we bring in here, uh, do you have any rations? I'm quite hungry. Uh, no, sorry. I'm all out. Who, I'm flicking one on him, just throw it in if, if we're not back in 24 hours, just wait longer. <laughs> Whose cart is in better condition? Ours <laughs> or his? <laughs> oh, his, uh, his, his, his uh, one is immaculate. Yeah, suck it. Can we we're roll for initiative and steal his car? No, we're not sure? taking Strahd's car. <laughs> Why not? His car Why not because, his car is, because his car's magical and it's Strahd's. It's it would not be smoother going. going. How is it smoother going? Before you know, it could kill us. No, I think it only goes one way, no matter what you do. Mm. I, I don't think taking his car is a good idea. Alright. Seraphim, lucky day, will, Seraphim will grab. We're playing this exhausted thing to a T. Seraphim will grab the Vistani potion that he has had a long time, which was basically a, a multivitamin fruit juice, if I remember correctly. Oh my god. <laughs> and I give it to him. And uh, he'll he'll, Thank he'll you. tell him, well, Wait. It's, it's, it's not the food maybe you're used to, but it should be invigorating, the, the Vistani told me. The Vistani <laughs> said, this is your free, this is for your freedom. Go, you can leave this place. <laughs> and you have a little sidebar in your top left screen that says Cyrus will remember this. Ooh. Hmm. So you carry on? Does it have a happy face or a, or a sad no, face? No, it, it, it has no face. We've Aww. just given him some we've given him some some substance, surely more than his master would have done. But, hold on, my friend. Why are you not given any sustenance under your job? Look, as, as I know, the master says I should stay here, right? So, Cyrus stay here. But, it's been a long time. I think maybe it's, it's been too long. I think he already suspects that you would be here. One more day, sir. And I'll throw him a few more rations. Because I've got ten of them. And I've never ate them. Yes, yes. You will remember this. <laughs> Just wait a little uh, bit longer, sir. We'll be back. I, I throw him a book I have. Here, to keep you... Keep you entertained while you wait. What book oh, well doing? read it like. Uh, I believe I have a prayer book. <laughs> the good word of the thunder. I always keep a pamphlet or two on me <laughs> at all light, times. Some light reading <laughs> for you. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard of it? I give him any reading materials I have for my Here's girl. the Old Testament. Have fun. <laughs> I just no, but here, please. This you guys. might find this you might find this interesting because you know it it must be boring for you sat here waiting for us. 
Yeah. Why, man? Are you in oh, need of anything else? No, I will. Thank you. What? He, he's busy. He's checking his phone. This is just not. No, he said but, yeah, I'm good. Thank he said, you. Thank you. Yeah, I heard him. It's very difficult to speak with a lisp if you don't have a lisp. Come, let us continue our journey. Yes. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow. Sorry, what was your name again? Cyrus. Cyrus. Cyrus Belfu. Bless you, yes. Belfu, ah. Uh. Well, anyway, au revoir, Shoshana, and just... Uh, I will... Uh, one more thing before we go. I will yes. go to him, and I'll, uh, I'll tell him... The is easy. What? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I have a very hard time understanding you. Your heart is eating. Yeah, yes, yes, but I, I can, I can, I can make it. I, I know everyone has a, a tough time living here in, uh, in Barovia, so... Okay, it's not tough. It's very fun. It, it's very fun, you say? Yes. What's so fun about it? Everything. Oh. Can you tell me one thing you find fun? I like that there is a cart that I can drive. What? <laughs> yes. He yeah, likes to drive the cart. That he can drive. I, yes. Yeah. That's what I thought I heard. Yes. Um, what? Do you uh, do this for an income or because you like it? What? Uh, like, is this your job or do you just like doing it? Yes. Both. My mother always says, if you make your hobby your job, you'll never work to see your life. Well, she is a wise woman then. <laughs> she was. Um, where do you live, actually? First, wherever I leave my head, that's <laughs> my home. <laughs> so you sleep in this cart, I imagine then, because... Well, for the last few days, yes, because you guys are very charty. <laughs> okay, well, I understand. But seeing as we will only come back tomorrow, take this gemstone. It's yes. worth a around 50 gold pieces. Go to either Falaki or someplace where you could rest. Treat yourself to a nice dinner. Yes. And then you pick up pick us up here tomorrow. Yes. Okay. And I'll give him not, one gemstone. Yes. But perhaps not Falaki, uh, perhaps not Falaki, because you know there's no one there anymore. No, but he'll come back here, that's what I mean. No, no, no there there's is, no one rebuilt, in... isn't it? No. Oh. They left. No one's there. It's a no, 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 no. The, the, the sunk is left, but the Wachter family's still in control there. Oh, I thought everyone had left. Everyone I mean, all that, this I guy, I, I just gave him 50 gold pieces, he'll find a way to... Yeah. <laughs> somewhere. Right. Go, go to Barovia. Barovia is where the, where the action's at. Thank you, good sir. No problem. I'm, I'm trying to look out. Yes. Um, it will be a thing, and I will be very sad. Yes, not sad. I, I will be moderately sad when you guys... I did Funny. not understand, but I think they were kind words. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, have a good day. Yes, you too. Seraphim goes to the cart. Seraphim, give me a... No. <laughs> a dexterity check. See how fast you run. No. no, 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 no. <laughs> we never stopped, sir. We've, no. we've gone. <laughs> we're already at the bridge. <laughs> no. As you guys are driving along the road... You get to a little place. I. Everybody knows our name? No. Not everybody knows your name here. But you get. But they're glad I. <laughs> they're, they're glad you. <laughs> sorry, I couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't resist it. I'm sorry. You get to a little place I like to call the Tsar Faults. Nice to watch out, man. 
Okay, the Thare Falls are an area of Barovia that you have crossed maybe two times in the last week or so. It's a bridge spanning a waterfall. And as you arrive, you get a feeling that something is watching you. The weird feeling. But as you look up in the distance, you see a horse with a rider on top of it. Throw me a perception check. Whoever is driving the cart at this moment. I'd imagine that would probably be me. Yeah. This is going stupidly slow. You're not can I say? Sure. Oh. Can you say what now? Can I say that I'm up front with him, like it's like a fry tuck motherfucker, like there's yeah. two of us. Sure, on only if you have your left hand on his knee the whole time. Of course. <laughs> uh, tricky, Ricky. That's not my knee. Wait, wait. I didn't say move it. I just said that was. <laughs> I increase my grip. <laughs> <laughs> squeeze, <Why> squeeze. <laughs> Let's not take that any further. Ah. Rudy, with the two of you, you can tell that there's something weird about this rider in the middle <laughs> of this bridge. He doesn't have a head. <laughs> that is a bit peculiar. <laughs> so I'm rubbing my eyes. <laughs> Do you see that man up ahead? Assuming it's his gender, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Do you see that leaf up ahead? His gender, you say. Yes. <laughs> it's its gender. Do you see that do you see the creature up ahead? <laughs> Rectavio, do you see that do you see that uh, obst obstacle? I, I see uh, them. <laughs> the, it. Do you see it? it. <laughs> what do you think? Well, uh, uh, anyone else uh, want to take want to take a look? I, I assume we stop the cart and we're just looking. No, no, we're keep, we're going. We're not stopping. <laughs> uh, on the back, there's a bumper sticker that says "We break for no one." We are going forward. <laughs> perhaps, <laughs> perhaps it might be worth us going around. Can I push my roll? <laughs> oh. How are you gonna? Systems. How are I'm gonna, gonna push rub my down? eyes <laughs> and look again, and then use my inspiration to get rid of the disadvantage. Yeah, but you cannot use inspiration on yourself. Remember? Fuck! I use my inspiration on backs by rubbing no, my eyes. My, I use my inspiration by <laughs> rubbing his eyes. <laughs> rub his eyes. Rub his eyes for him. Harder. <laughs> Hey, I'll get a pile anyone... of water and I'll throw it on his face. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> what you should have said, Luke, is that's not my eyes. But I rub his eyes and he can have my inspiration. <laughs> so he, right. he can lose his disadvantage. I will untick it. So, oh, if no, I just I put advantage up. on it, should work, shouldn't it? Well, you should yeah. just have your 16, shouldn't you? It should work. There you go. Well, All right. 23. Well, Thank you. You actually said 16. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and <he> wow. <laughs> yeah. I knew it was Cheat coming. Cheat engine much? No, he rode a 16 on the one before. That's what he dropped. Mm -hmm. That's why I assumed he would just pick that up. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> quickly, quickly, delete it, delete it. <laughs> Control or delete? Oh yeah. <laughs> With 23, you see the hatless rider standing in the middle. of this bridge and as you catch his neck his horse 
whinnies and throws back its legs pumping in the air as it falls back and it rides around the horse seems anxious and you can tell that this horse is not made of flesh and blood mm. but it's skeletal with uh, bones under it is this Rahadin's horse? No. No, Rahadin was riding Strahd's horse. Yeah, but that was an the elemental friend. horse as well. Would, do I recognize the armor of the headless rider? Uh, no. Yeah. It's very old, very rusty. I look back, so how do we talk to it? I not like it's got sword. ears. Like I look, I look down. <laughs> at my down sword. the hole. <laughs> I look down at my sword and look back at him and say, <laughs> "How far is he from the talking? <laughs> <laughs> How far is he from us, Sabas? Uh, who's the Sabas you speak of? Um, he's about a uh, hundred meters. I say we don't say anything, Ricky. We just keep going and if don't we, make eye contact. If we get <laughs> so a bit I can closer, I laughing. If we get a bit closer, I could send it a message. But why? Let's, why antagonize it? Let's just ignore it. Well, what, what we good has come that bridge? Of, what, what good has come of ever of talking to anyone that we have come across on the road? Ooh, can I talk to the skull? <laughs> what, why will we never learn? Why can't we just ignore it and just go past it? We can't go past it. It's in the middle of the bridge. We could go... F well, we could go through it. Next to a waterfall. So I don't think we're going around the long way. This is Bax has a hello. bag full of hats, doesn't he? Why doesn't he over one to the one? To the guy. <laughs> Everyone can be paid off. Is this the toll booth? We just mm -hmm. gotta give him money and he gets out of the way. Well, anyway, as we get within 120 feet, Seraphim will send a message asking, Hello, friend. Who are you? And may we pass. You get a rasping voice, like feet on gravel. I am the skeletal rider. You must pay the toll. I'll send another message. What type of payment do you require, sir? You cross the bridge under me. You must answer these riddles, three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, there it is. <laughs> guys, it's a I puzzle. Knew. It's I a knew puzzle. He was coming for it. Okay, Sloops. so. <laughs> As soon as he said he was on the bridge, it's like I knew that's where this is going. It's called Skeletal Rider, which is not a very creative name, if I may say so myself. It's, Call him Skeletor. It sounds it's, better. It, it's a bit descriptive, if you ask me. But um, he he seems willing um, to let us pass if we if we play this game. Ask your questions. Well, we we have to move closer first. We're 120 feet away. Oh, we never we never stop moving. <clears throat> Ask your questions! <laughs> we break for nobody, Seraphim. <laughs> we haven't stopped. We we will ride up to meet him. Let me open Google real quick. Uh, nope. <laughs> I'm just going to ace this. Come on, hands let's up, do this. Hands up, hands up, hands up. No Googling. <sighs> One. Time existed before me. But history can only begin after my creation. And you say that again, but without such power in your voice that so your mic doesn't get out. Yes. Please. Your, I, your mic doesn't like your powerful voice. I know it's a bane of my existence. 
<laughs> Come on, Godfrey, you can do this. Comes with having no lips. Who is this Godfrey you speak of? He sounds like a handsome fellow. He sounds definitely like a handsome fellow. <laughs> sounds is the keyword. <laughs> mm. Time existed before me, but history can only begin after my creation. Strad. Time may we speak, may we language. speak in between ourselves? Can, can we converse? Yes! Barovia was only created after Strahd, so to I create know. it and it existed you, you, before him, so Strahd. I think you're being too literal with, with his interpretation. I think it's an actual riddle, riddle. Yes, we yeah, need a hobbit. I don't think it's to do with Curse... Uh, uh, with metagaming. Barovia. It's not, to do, it's not to do with Curse of Strahd. It is an actual riddle, riddle. So it's... It is. What is it? Say it one more time. But in a normal voice, so I can understand you, please. <laughs> say it in the voice of Skeletor. <laughs> no, say it in a normal voice so I can process the information oh, i can't so do you, it so you can type it into google time existed not... before me but history time can ex... only begin after my creation hands time up existed... <laughs> all of you time, hands ex... up. Paper, time right? existed before <laughs> no hey siri no. <laughs> <laughs> one more time. time existed before <laughs> him <laughs> yeah but history can only begin when it was, was created yeah time Fuck existed you before brain. me but history yeah. can only begin after my creation. It has to be like yes. writing yes. language or, or paper or something. Or pens. Writing, something. Yeah. yeah. Wow, wow, Joe. Yeah, the, the literal interpretation uh, would be writing because that's like the yep. definition of prehistory and history. Yes. Yep. Yeah. yeah. When writing began. One thousand yeah. two hundred. Yeah. yeah. Joe, Jesus, I can't oh, believe how much you got there. Yeah. Wow, Joe! Yes. The man of words, final up. <laughs> <Yay! laughs> wow, the dark horse. The horse moves around once more as we're resetting the scene, and the hatless, headless skeletal rider with his skull in his hand and his lantern that does not give any light in his other says, they call me the king. I have eyes, hiss, and fangs of a snake, but I have no scales nor venom. One more time. They call me the king. They call me <laughs> They call me the king. I have the eyes, hiss, and fangs of a snake, but have no scales nor venom. That's Ooh. skills, you said, right? Mm -hmm. They call me the king. I have, I have the eyes. I don't what? have the eyes. Did you say you didn't have the eyes, the scales? Or the I thing? have the eyes. His you have and the eyes. Fangs of a snake. snake. They call me the king, but I have no skills, nor do I have venom. So venom. it's smooth and venomless, but it resembles a snake. And it's a but king. It's the they call king. him. They call him the king, king of the jungle. A lion. Yeah, but a lion doesn't have the eyes or fangs of a snake. That's got teeth. Uh, it's yeah. too, it's, again, fangs I could see, but. No, I, again, it's got I the fangs been... of a lion, not a snake. <laughs> I think been... Some cats do have snake eyes. Cats do have eyes that resemble snake eyes. I, you know, I, I think you, you're being Ian, too literal with this. You're being too literal <laughs> with the... You're being too literal with the interpretation no of okay. the... That's okay, and I'm just joking. I just like riddles. I know. You, you're being too literal with, with the translation of what he's saying. That's Generally, cool. riddles are... Riddles are generally based on like thoughts, right? They're not like metaphors. You know, thank you. That's the word I was looking so for. So the answer is politician. No, the answer is not politician. And a politician has plenty of venom, right? Ah, oh, but an emperor. Ooh. Yeah, but like, what if we take it like the easy way? What do we call king? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. What do we call king? Chuck. A king. A king. <sighs> Like King of the Jungle is good in in the sense that that's a like a saying or yeah, it's Tarzan though, isn't it? Tarzan's King of the Jungle, not the 
Or is there like a double meaning to king or... A king's a ruler, right? Ruler that has... Yeah. <laughs> Quick, right. He he can he can hear us. He can hear us, right? But he, he can't, can't see, see us. us. <laughs> A king. Is there like an animal like the king cro cobra or? Yeah, well, King Cobra King. doesn't have Phantom, but that's well, not yeah, King Cobra has Skiles. Uh, has skills. You yeah. reply. And a King Cobra has Venom. Like it's not a Python or anything. Yeah, yeah, but I don't. I don't think it's an actual. Species. I don't think it's a raptor. I, think, I don't, no. Yeah, I don't think it's what, an animal. What's the He's metaphor about for a snake? Yeah. Serpent. All Some right. Slow, yeah, serpent, no. yeah. A snake not could be would... anything. It could be. It could be the king's. Court, you know the people who are running the king's court. But it have well, a worm. I think it's, it's the snake. Oh, but... it's 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 worm tongue from from Rohan, right? Uh, I, <laughs> His words are like venom. But, yeah. Yeah. No, but the um, the description that it hisses and it has fangs, but it doesn't have venom, makes me think it's more bluff than bite. Something that looks a lot scarier than it maybe is. And also quite game. literally doesn't have skills. Could you say it one more time, uh, DM? Just so we have like the full thing in our mind. They call me king. They call me the king, sorry. I have the eyes, hiss, and fangs of a snake, but have no skills, nor venom. A okay. cat. Yeah, it does bring me back to line, just from the hiss, indeed. I don't think it's an animal. Like, Cash is king, right? What is your final answer? I'd like to ask the audience, please. Use a lifeline. Nice. Can I phone a friend? Yeah, phone a friend. I, I feel line is, is it, the closest thing. Is yeah. it money? Is it money? Is that mm, your final wait. answer? No, no I'm saying it to the group. I'm saying it to the group. No, it doesn't. How, it... how does how does money hiss or have fangs? Uh, let's no, go. With wait, lion. Come... Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, like, it's not lying. Lion is best we have. Final answer is lion. Uh, you mean, he, did hear. you say I'll allow it? Yeah. I'll allow it. <laughs> uh, it was indeed cat. But lion serves better. They call me the king? Yeah, who Why calls them? My who cats are the cat? kings in my house. Yeah. Ancient yeah, Egyptians believed know. cats were reincarnated of ancient kings. So. Mm -hmm. And I, I treat them like kings. They're so fat. Oh, sure. <laughs> we call them <laughs> snacks in our house. Are There's something wrong in your house. For the final one. Serpent perks up a little bit. Yes! Mm. Hands up the keyboard. <laughs> Hands above the table. Uh, I can't do that. Not above the table. What falls but never breaks? And what breaks but never falls? Oh, sunrise. My first impression was silence. But silent breaks. But you can, yeah, you can break silence. Oh, fall. No, no, it's something to do with like the world and atmosphere. I, I know this riddle, but ah, oh, fuck. A feather. It's like, no, it's like daylight or something like. Say it again. Or the, like, like, we like the weather. What falls but never breaks, and what breaks but never falls. Sun break, sun uh, day rise, the day. Oh, sun break and sun fall, maybe. Light falls. Sun break never breaks. falls, and sun fall never breaks. Yeah. Doesn't quite fit, does it? Yeah. No, it's dawn of uh, evening falls, but it doesn't break. But dawn breaks, but doesn't fall. 
I think it was Ever something asked. like that. Has to be one thing. What force but never Well, break. or it could be a double answer, like sun fall. If it's what never breaks but never falls, and another thing, what never falls but uh, what falls but never breaks, it's sun uh, a light and fall and sun break or day break. Can I use any tool at hand that isn't a computer? <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Uh... Like Owen Owen takes his sextant. Is it two words? Is it a word? Don't call your girlfriend the tool, Owen. That's not a word. Book of riddles. Is it a two word answer? Because it would be night and day, right? I will allow it. Do you want one more just to humor me, an old man? Sure. It is night and day, right? The answer. It is night and day indeed. Yes. Exactly. I knew it. As he steps aside, he says, What breathes, consumes, and grows, but was and never will be alive? What breathes, consumes, what? 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 Huh? What? 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 Huh? what? Huh? Are we McLemore yeah. up in here? <laughs> what <laughs> breathes, consumes, and grows, but was and never will be alive? Breathes, consumes, but no. Water. Water does breathe. Water breathe? Water breathe? Yeah. Oh, I know it. What? Uh... You're not. <laughs> <laughs> so the fire. second man in fire. the sky that appeared. Fire! fire. 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 <laughs> Is it fire? Oh, dead. Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh. Now, but yeah. you you do use the term live fire. Well, no, nah. it's no gunshots in it. But it's not... Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's but it's not right. actually... Yeah, It, it does breathe. A sigh of relief as this horseless rider crumbles into dust. I am free. You have solved my riddles for... Uh, and he dies <laughs> into dust. Is the horse still there? No. Does it, does oh, it leave any loot, loot behind? Is his whip yeah. still there? <laughs> Wait, what? Because that whip <laughs> looks pretty cool. Yeah, Y'all are with. very thirsty, okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, yes was for the thirsty, and no is for the whip. Is his head still Aww. there, though? Nay, nay. <laughs> Shame. Could have made a nice cop out of it. Speaking of which, can we have a quick break? Yes, we can have a quick break. Yay! Oh, and, PA! And thank you, Ian. <laughs>